Daytona Beach, Florida, the normally quiet city along the East Coast known around the world for one thing, racing. What began on the hard-packed sands of the beach later moved inland to the high banks of Daytona International Speedway. Who'll grab a piece of racing history today by winning at Daytona? ESPN welcomes you to NASCAR Countdown. Today it's the Camping World 300 for the NASCAR Nationwide Series at the famed Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. This place that for so many years has drawn people from around the world again has thousands of fans filing into the massive grandstands. While down in the pit and garage areas, the drivers are getting ready for competition too. Defending series champion Clint Boyer among those getting ready to start a 2009 campaign that we hope is exciting, as was the finish of last season's racing. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as the Embry-Riddle Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Color Guard presents our nation's colors. Please remain standing as Dr. Tim McNeil of First United Methodist Church of Ormond Beach offers today's invocation. Let us pray. You are our God and we are your people. We begin this new season with hope, promise, and possibility. Yet we are mindful of those around these garages and around our nation who have been outsourced, downsized, and are unemployed. Give us this day our daily bread, and as we seek to build a new prosperity, may it be built on gratitude instead of greed. Shalom and amen. Race fans, here to perform our national anthem, please welcome Big Machine recording artists, Kate and Casey. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still thing you miss during the off season in racing those goosebumps you get when they have that opening ceremony every week and you begin to see those drivers climb aboard and buckle in and know that the green flag is just around the corner the start at Daytona when we come back race fans it's time for those most famous words in motorsports please welcome your grand marshal regional vice president of camping world Bruce Wright on behalf of camping world all our associates and vendors, and 8 million RVers. Gentlemen, start your engines! Yeah, 10 four. All right, fire it up when you're ready. Loud and clear. Behind you. So if uh, you know, you're getting in behind somebody, coming on board on the outside, just make sure you fill his mirror up so he knows he's clear so you can guys carry more. Th 
Welcome back to the Camping World 300 here at Daytona. We are just moments away from the start. And what a star-studded field we have for you today. We take a look at our starting grid. It is led by two-time series champion and pole sitter Kevin Harvick. Folks, five of the top six starters on that grid have won a major NASCAR championship, including Tony Stewart, the two-time cup champion, back in fifth position. While you watch to see where your favorite driver is starting, let's visit again with our in-race reporter, Brad Keselowski, who, by the way, was voted the series' most popular driver for 2008. Brad, Dale Jarrett, ESPN, you have a copy? Yeah, 10-4, Dale, got your line clear. All right, Brad, looks like the sun's come out today. Uh, Going to have a pretty slick racetrack. Is there one particular spot of this racetrack that concerns you more than another? Without a doubt, the entry of turn three. Uh, saw it in the cup car where it got real loose as that bank transitions real fast. And it looks like we're going to have a tailwind going into turn three. So I'd expect our corner entry speed to pick up to make that situation worse. All right, Brad, our second question comes from our ESPN mailbag. And Chris from Arlington, Tennessee asked, how do you choose which lane to draft in during a restrictor plate race? Are you looking for drafting partners, or is it solely how your car is handling? Well, I'm looking to put my GoData.com Chevrolet behind the fastest car I can find and push them, and then uh, hopefully get back by them. So uh, that's kind of how we're working at it, looking at it. So uh, hopefully I've got a car strong enough to do that. I know the guys on the Junior Motorsports team have worked real hard on that, and I appreciate it. We're ready to put on a good show for them fans so they can go watch. All right, are you looking to move straight forward right here from the very beginning? Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, you know, every time I try to play conservative, it seems like I get in trouble. So uh, I'm going to be aggressive. It's going to be a good show. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> All right, Brad. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later on. Now, Andy's going to talk to your crew chief, Tony Uri Sr. Hey, Pops. It's Andy Petrie up here in the booth. You got us? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Hey, Tony, you know, my whole career I've spent really as a crew chief in the Cup Series, but it takes a little different calls down on pit road to win these nationwide series races are shorter. What is it that you've learned that you've been able to win so many of those things from pit road? Well, the, probably the biggest thing in the nationwide garage is you got to you got to make your adjustments a little faster, a, a little bigger. Uh, seems like in the Cup side, you can kind of tune on the car a little bit at the time and, and get it tuned in. But here you got uh, maybe once or twice to get that car tuned in. So your adjustments got to be a little bigger and uh, just hope you don't go too far. Hey, Tony, what is the one thing that you're going to focus on today to get your car to where you need to be at the end of the race? Well, we just got to get it where we run it wide open all day. That was what happened to us here in July. We, uh, we got loose getting in the corner and uh, was having to get off the throttle a little bit. Uh, we felt like we had a really fast car. Uh, it was kind of disappointed we didn't win the race. So hopefully we got that problem fixed and we keep it running wide open all day. Okay, Tony, thanks for talking to us and good luck today. Thank y'all.